The Word of God made it clear to us that promotion does not come from the north, south, west and east, but it comes from God. Only God has the capacity to promote you beyond human calculation. This is why it is important not to depend on men to promote you. Do not forget that the help of men is in vain. So today we'll be praying that the Lord promotes us to all levels that men will see us and glorify his name in our lives. He will elevate your status far above your reasoning or your calculation. Let us pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we come, knowing fully well that we are your children, that there is nothing we ask according to your name that you do not answer. We stand in your word and decree that I and everyone under the sound of my voice that you will find favor in your professional endeavors and God's divine promotion be upon you. I also pray that your labor would never be in vain. You will labor little and get a bountiful result in the name of Jesus. I also pray for you that as you work diligently and wholeheartedly, doors of opportunities will begin to open of their own accord for you. I stand on the integrity of the word of God and I decree that your talents and skills are recognized and rewarded in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 16, 3 says, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Therefore, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that just as you give your work to God, diligently trusting him, nothing will stop you from being established. I hereby commit your work to the Lord and say that the Lord himself has said he will bless the work of our hands. He's the one that gives us power to make wealth. You remain established and never have a cause to have problem with your vocation or your business or your job in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will begin to experience spiritual growth and elevation as you work with God in the name of Jesus. One of the things that I know that helps growth is understanding the one that gives the growth. I decree and declare over you that because you know your God, you will do exploit. You will do great and mighty things and become a marvel to the nations in the world. I declare that you will keep on seeking deeper connection with God and you will desire the word of God. The Holy Spirit will illuminate and expand your understanding as your faith remains strengthened from each day in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be filled with wisdom and understanding just as Ephesians 3 verses 17 and 18 say, I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. The scripture shows exactly the power that comes with the word of God and wisdom that comes only from him. I decree and declare to everyone listening to me that you will begin to grasp immensely understanding the word of God beyond human understanding. I decree that love of God will become more and more knowledgeable to you and you will experience it beyond human reasoning. You go above the calculations and the plans that you have set for yourself because of the power that comes in the name of Jesus. I pray for you now that you are blessed with personal growth and development in all your areas. There is no area of your life that will remain stagnated. You grow on every facet. You grow from every cranny. Everywhere goes beyond as it is written in the word of God that says Jerusalem will no longer be limited. I declare because you are the child of the Most High, you live in the Zion of God. No power that would put you and place you in a limited space in the name of Jesus. You are no longer stagnated and your progress is no longer slow. Your family will no longer be backward, retrogressively progressing in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would overcome challenges and obstacles all your way because the Lord himself would put a springboard on your feet as you will rise up with wings as eagles. Your progress will skyrocket and people will see that indeed the Lord is with you. 
James 1 verse 4 reminds us that let perseverance finish its work so that we may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And based on the word of God, I stand and decree as God's own daughter and a one that has been bought by the prize of Jesus Christ in his blood, I decree and declare that you will allow God to work thoroughly in your life. You would no longer wrestle with the Lord because the Lord would find freedom of expression even within you in the name of Jesus. I declare you become bigger and better, stronger and wiser than who you used to be, even from now onwards in the name of Jesus. I pray that your relationships with people around you are enriched and blessed. From now onward, they will begin to see the new you because you have been turned to another man. I declare that you will begin to contact people with greatness people that have ability, you attract only the ones that would add value to you. A little one amongst you will be a thousand in the name of Jesus. Your ability would draw people that would give you value for your work in the name of Jesus. Your understanding will bring up men. Kings will come to the brightness of your rising. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will experience harmony, understanding and unconditional love with your family, friends and colleagues in the name of Jesus and I pray for you that God's favor will rest upon you and your interactions and communications with people no matter how high they are the Lord will give words into your mouth you will be able to know how to go about with relationship with them Colossians chapter 3 verse 14 says and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity I pray for you that you would exhibit love to strangers the Lord will give you a nimble heart to be able to discern who to help in the name of Jesus you increase because the Lord increases you you have the ability and capability to relate with people no matter their levels in the name of Jesus I decree that you will find healing and restorations in times of emotional turmoil and distress which might want to bring you into the pit in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace each time the enemy wants to bring you and drown you into emotional peace in the name of Jesus I decree that God's peace and comfort envelops you and you find the strength to overcome any and every emotional wonder in the name of Jesus I pray for you that you will begin to experience and enjoy financial abundance and prosperity Hear the word of the Lord. He said he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He also says that he wishes above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. I decree that every level of prosperity you experience it and I also pray for you that you will be a channel of blessing to others in need around you. You will not be a reservoir, instead you will become a channel that always has every moment of the year and of the day and each season and in time in the name of Jesus I decree over you that as you steward your resources well the Lord himself will increase your bands God's provisions will be made evident in your life and in your family according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 uh, that proclaims and God will meet all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus I pray for you that you would discover and walk in alignment with God-given purpose and I decree that as you do this, you will find fulfillment and maximum satisfaction in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Lord because we know that you have a great plan for us and it is for prosperity and not harm. Receive all that we've asked for knowing that they are done in Jesus' name. Amen. Do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.